everyone, this is Miss Halliday, and today we're going to be making cherry blossoms. I'm going to show you a picture of what cherry blossoms look like. You might have went to DC and you've probably seen cherry blossoms before. Sometimes they're white, sometimes they're different shades of pinks. And we're going to be drawing or painting cherry blossoms. So if you don't have paint, feel free to just use a pencil. And if you have crayons to color in, or if you have watercolor or acrylic paint, that would be great for this. So you'll need a piece of paper. And I put a cardboard underneath so I don't get my table dirty. You can use a table a uh, tablecloth or something like that that can get dirty or newspaper or just so something so the table doesn't get dirty. And then I have a cup for water and I have a paintbrush. And I like to have a couple paper towels next to me so I can make sure my brush is clean and if I have too much paint I can go on the paper towels. And I have something that's a big paint palette. But you could use a um, you could use a paper plate to put your paints on, or if you do have a, a small palette, that'd be great. Or even you could use a piece of paper and just toss it out after. So I'm going to be starting by dipping my brush if you're working with paint. And if you're not working with paint, just grab a pencil or if you want to start in uh, with a crayon or a marker. And... I'm going to make my branches first. So I'm going into a uh, black paint. You can choose any color you want. And I'm going to paint my branches. And if I want the branches to be curly, they can be curly. If I want them to be straighter they can be however you want your branches to be so i'm going to create one line and then make another line for my branches and they're going to connect and then i'm going to have a branch coming down here like that and I think I want a third branch. So coming at the bottom and going up, I'm going to make the third branch. So I'm going in and I'm re-dipping my paintbrush into the paint. And some parts of it kind of have some white on it. So if I want to go back in and thicken and thicken those parts up so they don't have the white. It was making what's kind of called a dry brush when you don't really have enough paint or enough water. But I'm just going to go in and thicken it up so it's bolder, more of a thick stroke. Again, you can have as many branches as you want for your picture and it doesn't have to look like mine. I think mine needs another branch over here on this side. So I'm going to have another one coming down like that. And then inside my branches, I'm going to create lines kind of like a road. Some of them can be longer and thinner. And I'm going to place those inside my branches. Just like that. And if you mess up on something, you can just try to turn it into something else and make it just like a happy accident. It doesn't have to be a mistake. So now I have my lines inside my tree branches. Now I'm going to want to do something that I like to call extension branches, which are going to come out from the bigger branches. So I'm going to pick a spot where I think is a good spot for the extension branch. And I'm going to create a line. And then I'm going to make smaller strokes like that that extend from the bigger branch. 
So you kind of come out and then go into little smaller ones. And I'm not going to do them everywhere, but where I think looks good, where I think it's needed. And I like to do them in threes, but you can do however um, many you want for your number. If the branch is smaller, I try to kind of make it a little bit thinner, a little smaller. And if you're able to look outside a window and see a tree, we'll see that a lot of the larger branches then go into these smaller branches that are extending. So now I have my extension branches on and I think they're looking good. I think I'm done with the amount that I want. So I'm going to rinse off my brush. Remember we swirl the brush. We don't want to splish splash. So we're giving the brush a bath. So it's going to be clean for our next color and you can test if it's clean on your paper towel if you have a paper towel there and just gently swirl and then you can test it. So now I'm going to be going into the color that I'm choosing for my cherry blossoms and for mine I'm going to do different shades of pink. So I have pink paint and I have some white paint, but you can do yours any colors you want. So I have my pink and I'm going to mix a little bit of white into it to make the lighter pink. Okay. So what I'm going to be doing is finding my extension branches and then I can do a cherry blossom as one, just one um, petal, or you can make it into four or five petals. I'm going to show you here. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four there. And then I'm going to go around to all my extension branches. And I'm going to create these cherry blossoms and they don't have to look exactly the same. Like I said, if, if you kind of mess up on one, just try to work with it and you can make it into a happy accident. If I want a bolder color, then I could not use as much white and it's going to make it darker and deeper. On my palette, I have a different pink. I'm going to bring some of that different color pink in and go one, two, three, four. If your brush is getting really, really filled out with paint like mine, just rinse it off. And then you can go on your paper towel and it might have just a little bit too much paint on it. So just finishing up making my cherry blossoms. And if you want to do yours really colorful, all different colors, you can do that however you decide for yours. I have a few more to go. I was looking forward to going to DC to see the cherry blossoms, but um, not this year because of the quarantine, but I have been before and they're really beautiful. They have a pretty smell and I love taking pictures of them. So now I have my cherry blossoms, I have my branches, my extension branches, and in this, in this artwork here, it will kind of work as an artwork going up and down or an artwork side to side, which is neat because you can turn it and make it how you want. What I'm gonna do for mine, I think I'm going to turn it this way and at the top, I'm going to make some birds. So if you'd like to have some birds in yours, just rinse off your brush and pick a color. And then near the top, just going to do simple style up and down and up. And I think three should be good. There I have my three birds 
and I have my cherry blossom seam, which could get turned different directions, however you like. And something artists do is sign their work. So you could put your signature where you think the bottom of it is, or you could place it within part of your work and have it flow with one of the branches, however you want. So I think I'm going to have mine up like this, so the bottom would be down here, and I'm going to sign my name down here. So that's your cherry blossom scene. And again, if you don't have paint, that's no problem. You can just work with pencil or crayons or markers. So thanks for tuning in. Miss you all and stay creative. Bye.